Art Baker. And howdy, my friends, and welcome once again to our Hollywood sound stage. This is Frank Donahue here. Don James, two of the men who helped us answer this first request from a Mrs. Harry Horn, lives in Ashland, Ohio. She wrote, uh, there are many thrilling sights in the Hawaiian Islands, but the most spectacular of all are the surf riders. If you've never seen these skilled riders conquer the charging waves that reach up to 35 feet, let me assure you it's breathtaking. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, Mrs. Horn, cameraman Don James, kind of lucky here. When he arrived on the beach at uh, Makaha, isn't it? He found some of the largest waves ever to be captured on film. Now, just two or three days out of each year, they tell me, they, they reach storm surf. That's when the waves are the biggest and the most treacherous. Say, uh, Don, how do you film this uh, surfing shot? The big waves are too big to mount a camera on a boat. Hmm? They sure are, all right. Uh, you see, to make this film, we use three different camera setups. The first one was this telephoto lens. We took shots from the beach, which uh, enabled us to take uh, close-ups from a quarter of a mile away. Uh -huh. And the second one was this uh, waterproof camera. You see, the camera being waterproof, uh, we were able to swim right out with it and shoot from the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. And the third setup we used was to take this same camera and mount it right on the front of the board, like this. An art, the surfer stands here, triggers the camera, and takes his own picture of his footwork as he's riding the wave. I think that's pretty ingenious, taking your own picture right that way in a close-up there. All right, Mrs. Uh, Harry Horn, uh, here are some of the most tremendous waves ever recorded on film as four top surfers tried their luck. You ask for it. Here come the surfers, Art. Here's Henry Aku, Obi Alder, Walt Hoffman, Frank here bringing up the rear. The water's always warm, Art. It stays right about 80 degrees most of the time, even at night. Now here's a shot I made with a waterproof camera while I was treading water. We had to go out a long ways that day in order to get around the big ones. And this is what we're heading for. These are really big. Here's a shot from the camera on the board. And the first man takes off. Down the way, right in the groove. Look when you're gone. Yeah, down he goes. Walt Hoffman, the second man, starts off. He's got a good one. Up he goes. Watch this balance and footwork. Now here's a shot of him taken from the beach. See, this is in slow motion. As the wave turns off to the right or left, you see he has to follow it or his ride will be over. the wrong turn. Here goes Hobie Alder, the number three man. He's got a tough one. He's had it. Down he goes. And up comes the board. Here comes Donahue. Frank steers the board with his foot like a rudder. Now, here's a slow motion study. Now, watch the footwork and balance necessary to keep that board going. He's going to make it all the way into the beach on this one. You know, on the islands, they've been known to bet entire kingdoms on the outcome of a single ride by a surfer. for ride art, safely delivered right on the beach. I want to tell you that was great, believe me. Don James Frank Donahue, I want to thank you very much for answering that request in a swell way, believe me. It's a little rough art, but the big ways really made it worthwhile, mm. believe me.
We'll go back to the islands anytime you want to send us, Art. It's a wonderful place. That's what they say. Good luck. Thanks, fellas. Right. And, Mrs. Harry Thorne, we saw some real surfing the day the big ones were breaking at Makaha. You asked.